Here's a fun product from Channing Electronics. It's our copper line circuit Halloween card. The card that we're looking at right now uses a flexible copper tape that makes a circuit to illuminate a light emitting diode. This is a fun way to create and learn the principles of electricity and simple circuit design. Let's begin. This is what you'll be receiving. This is the star of the show that makes the uh, electricity flow. It's a copper, a flexible copper tape, which is really cool. It allows you to make the circuits. We're going to connect this up to the light emitting diodes, also known as a LED. You get in a paper clip, and you kind of get a designer paper clip in here, and I'll show you where this all, uh, where all this kind of comes together. Let's begin. So in here, in the inside of the card in here, are the instructions of how to put this together. Now real quickly, just as an overview, what basically happens is that we're going to take these copper, this flexible copper tape, and run the circuit around to these areas in here. We're going to hook up a coin battery there, and then we're going to fold this over to connect the battery. There's a battery in here. That's the positive side, which would, is like that. That's the negative side. And as a touch, it uh, powers up the circuit in here, lights up these two light emitting diodes. And on the front in here, there'll be t the eyes in here will illuminate, and so will the bat's eyes. So that is that in a nutshell. If you want to see how this uh, works, let's first test to make sure that, that our LEDs work. It's not on. Well, why is that? Well, I have it on the wrong side. The long, the long edge here of the lead is uh, the anode, and the short end in here is the cathode. And the cathode needs the negative power supply. It's on this side of the battery, the top side of the battery, in here. So there we have it. So it's a nice flickering LED. So that's how we can test that these all work. That one works. That one, all right. And this is also part of our troubleshooting. So if, you're, if the eyes of the pumpkin or the bat aren't illuminated, it could be because the LEDs were not put in correctly or they were flipped. Ultimately, this is what it comes down to. We're just taking this, using some copper tape, and, and extending the circuitry through the card. So the first things that we would do is we create these pads that we see in here. You put a pad down there, there, here, 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 and here, as well as here and there. And you're going to use the large tape for that. The second thing we're going to do is then after that, we're going to overlap this tape over that lead, uh, over the, um, the pad that we just created here and here, and run that to this pad, to this pad, and around to this pad. Making a connection on with, between these two pads, you can use a battery, but you want to press hard there so that it makes a really good connection and that the card will illuminate. All right, well, if it's that easy, let's do it. And it is. This is a lot of fun. You can start in anywhere you'd like. Make sure this is in the, in the shot of the camera. And this tape is, uh, you know, I'm just pressing it down there. Move some of this material there, and I just give it a little, a little tear. It's that simple. Since this is on YouTube, you can fast forward in the uh, into the tape display or on the uh, the video down here, just to where you see the card coming together. Okay, that's there. And it's okay if the tape gets a little crinkly. That that will happen. I found this to be the best way to put the tape down. So this is the positive side, this is the negative side.
you know what? I was going to tear that, but that's what happens. I just broke it off a little, a little funny. It's amazing that something like this, they have a tape that can conduct electricity. All right, there's the pads. You have plenty left over if you want to experiment with some other things or maybe make your own another card. Uh, this is just an idea that we came up with putting the eyes in here and printing it out here. But I mean, if you even handed your own card, do a design, whatever it may be, you know, maybe you want to use these as little candles somewhere on it, you can totally do that. Okay, so it says step one was put the uh, copper pads down. I did. And then it says use this smaller tape and trace and connect the pads together as shown. Well, there it is. We're going to connect them right in there. And we all said if the tape breaks, don't worry. Just use some more tape. And instead of a little trick here, instead of trying to peel the tape from the bottom, peel it from the top because the, the bottom is a little thicker than the top. All right, here we go. So I'm going to overlap it like that. If you can, if you can, I got to make sure I'm in frame too. If you can, try to keep this connection in here. You can fold the tape over. You know, you can do that. You can put a little fold in there. You don't have to rip the tape every time. I'm going to try to keep this tape intact because if it's perfect, if you can keep the tape intact, you're going to you're going to have less possibility of the card not the leads not to illuminate. There we go on there. I have an end of a screwdriver. I can just can do that with a make sure all that's there. All right. We're getting real close here. I'm just going to do the other side. Creating a copper circuit. Now we're doing the negative terminal here. I'm just going to do a little rotation on there. I'm going to do it again in here. I'm just going to turn the tape a little bit like that. We're going to keep that if possible, if, if, if you can, if it breaks, it's okay. Okay, I'm going to take my screwdriver connection again. Kept all those intact. Okay, now we're going to install the uh, the LEDs. Now, when we were designing this, we're like, oh, we'll just poke them through first, and then, you know, and then they'll be on the back. But we said, you know, let's if we start from the back, we can make sure that the design on the front is very clean. So here's the paper clip that comes with it, and this right in here is we're going to. Step three says, just poke some holes where the red uh, circles are. So. We'll do that right now. Be careful not to get your hand there. There's one more below it. Now, as we were testing this card out, someone's like, well, what, can I just take the lead and just pop it through? Yes, you can. You'd be very careful on doing that. And what happens if you damage the lead? Now you don't have one. So, always I recommend using uh, another tool for that, unless you have a lot of leads around. But if you break it, then then where are you? You know. All right. Now these do have a polarity to them, just like with the battery. Remember that when we did our test. This side it works. This side it doesn't. Well, we got to make sure we put these in the right terminals. And as we noted before, this says the short lead goes right in here. 
on this side. So the short lead would hit the pop up in here and the long lead on that side. So when you flip the card around, you know, what I would what I suggest, let's hold the card. Here's the, the long lead on the top, short lead on the bottom. And I didn't do anything, I just take the card, I'm flipping it straight over. And the long lead goes on that side, the short go on that side. There it is. Alright, flip that over. There we have it. So after we do that, we gotta spread the leads apart. So they lay flat on the pads of the card. So I'm just gonna take it. And I'm just I'm not sure if you just saw what I did there, I just it was easier to do it like that. And then make sure these are in the right, right holes, correct? Step four, spread, so da da da. Then bend them to create a squiggle pattern. Why do we want to create a squ squiggle pattern? We're trying to give it some stability to the card. And you can do a squiggle pattern. You can just do, you can bend it like that. It just helps, it just helps the lead lie flat. So there's, there's a squiggle pattern right there. There we have it. Now let's put some tape on top to secure that connection. I'm trying to keep this in frame on the camera and do the project. Doing my best. Put that in the. Oops. I wonder if I should just. You know what? Maybe I'll just rip a piece. And that works too. There it is. We created an, uh, a sandwich. We're sandwiching that in. And that's not moving at all. That's a nice solid connection. Put one on that side too. Try to make sure it's in frame. There you go. Nice solid connection. Let's take a look at the front. Now there's two more down there. I know, I'm almost, I'm impatient. I want to I want to light it up. Let's pretend those are in there. Okay, so here's the positive, the battery terminal. The positive side goes on that side. The negative side goes on there. Let me make sure I have it on there. I don't know. And then to secure that in there, we have this fun little clip. Little Halloween. Let's go. Did it work? Oh yeah. We got the bad size. All right. I can't wait for the pumpkin. Let's do this pumpkin now. Same verse. Same as the first. Our second verse. Same as the first. Is that how that goes? Okay. Short. Okay. Back to here. The short lead on this side. The long leg on that side. So here it is, just like that. I'll put my hand underneath there. Swing. Sweet. And then add your squiggle. I just bend it. Just put a little bend. You know. And right there. Okay, same in this one, the short end goes on there. All right. Okay, give it that little bend. Give that lead a little bend, and here it is. Here's this. Focus, please. There. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? I was going to put a tape there and a tape there. I can. We can do whatever we want. We can tape it down this way. There and there. How about that? Less. Anytime you can 
not uh, break the tape, you're going to have a, uh, a good connection. Okay, here it is. We got our cards in there. And then on the front, when you see this, you know, you just kind of shake them. I mean, they're they're in there pretty good, you know. They're they're not moving around. Before we put the bend in, they were wobbling around, and then the connections were getting loose, and it uh, didn't illuminate. So we're like, why is that doing that? So we figured that out. So we did this. Five tape the the wires down to the pads. We did. Goal is to create a good connection between the pads and the and the leads. We did. Illuminate your design by placing the battery between the fold and secure with the paper clip. So you're going to fold that over, paper clip, where's the Halloween guy, okay, batteries like that, positive on this side, there's the positive, you're going to fold it over, you can put it on that side, on that side, I think, I think that side's kind of cool, okay, the moment of truth, nice. Here's the copper line uh, circuit. Nice fun little project there. Uh, we do give you an envelope so you can uh, hand deliver this to your, your friend. It goes in there, trust me. You know? And it's a peel, so you don't have to touch anything. You know, you just peel it, close it, and then hand it to your friend. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is actually one of our longer videos we've ever done. But uh, we're pretty excited about this, and with Halloween right around the corner, um, this is a fun piece to create and design and, and, and learn uh, some of the principles about electricity and simple circuit design. All right, everyone, until next video, take care.